My name is Susan Mukanhavana. I'm glad to be here. I am a teacher by profession. And uh, I'm here to talk about Streamline Education. It is an edutech startup here in Uganda. Uh, I realized that there are students who needed to study, but they can't. The situations around them cannot allow them to be in the classroom. So what are some of those groups or types of students? We have students with special needs, or students with learning disabilities. We have students uh, whose parents are experts that keep on moving from one country to another because of the nature of their job. They are parents who are business people that keep moving from places to places. There are children who are in early years careers, like they start their careers at an early age. You've seen young athletes, you've seen motocross racers, you've seen other children, children at a young age who participate in competitions. And sometimes these competitions uh, do not allow them to be in class all the time. We also have uh, a, very, a very big refugee community in Uganda uh, where children come from different countries to seek asylum in Uganda. And uh, from those countries, they are on different study programs, but also because of that uh, uh, disruptions, uh, because of war and insurgencies, their education journey is altered or disrupted. So they need a lot of help and support. When we started de dealing with those students, we realized that we can um, education outside the classroom can be fully supported, especially on the pre-primary, primary, and secondary level can be fully supported by international curricula or curricula that is not Uganda. I told you that we started dealing with children who cannot be supported by this normal education system. But when we are dealing with them, we realize that we cannot use the Ugandan system because it is structured in a, in a way that is not flexible to facilitate learning outside the classroom. And I think we all agree. So the only option we had is to use international curricula, like from the US, South Africa and online schools from these countries that have moved ahead of us in terms of making education flexible. And as Streamline Education, our vision is to make learning more flexible and possible wherever the learner is. Out of these years that I've, told, uh, I've dealt with these students, I've realized that learning can happen anywhere. As long as the right tools and the right personnel and the right support is available. If those three are in place, the tools, the personnel and support, learning can happen anywhere. Uh, we know, or any entrepreneur in this room or anywhere else will tell you that entrepreneurship most of the times is a lonely journey because you're the one who has the idea. So as you face the challenges, you need to understand that uh, you need to embrace the lonely journey that comes with entrepreneurship. These are all support avenues that you as an entrepreneur need to look out for as you walk this entrepreneurial journey. Uh, also, you need to be very, very creative with the available resources. Sometimes you don't have the money you need. Sometimes you may have the knowledge, but not the money. Sometimes you may have the money, but not the knowledge. Sometimes you may have uh, the, the money and the knowledge, but not the right team. So you have to be creative and make sure that you use what you have optimally, but also you look for what you don't have so that you don't miss out. There are very many people who have money, but they don't know how to use it or even use it wrongly. Um, you, as an entrepreneur, this is very, very, um, 
This is very, very important, especially for those who are looking for to get funding, pitch and what, innovation spaces in these hubs. You need to, uh, you know, build a solid business case. You have to be clear on the real value you're bringing in the market. You hear this social media thing, like, what do you bring on that table? So... As you are thinking of any idea or being a, a, an entrepreneur, you need to be clear on what you are doing, how you're going to do it, and what value is it bringing. Because even when you're pitching your idea, maybe to someone or to a group or to even investors, they'll ask you, what are you solving? What is the value of this uh, innovation? What is the niche? Hmm? How do you stand out? Hmm? So your value, your, your idea has to be unique. Uh, most of the people we work with, I've talked about them. We are now working with learners. We have resources for learners in pre-primary. We are working on primary, both in digital and in print. And learner can work anywhere. We have learners in uh, four countries right now, Uganda, Rwanda, Kenya, and the US. We are going to Malawi next uh, month. And uh, we've we pride ourselves in working with learners who may not access the classroom, but they can learn from wherever they are. 